Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hello, I'm Brown Panda Beauty. Welcome, thank you for watching my video. And in today's video, I am doing this look right here. I was getting ready for another video, so I was like, why not just do a video? And I have actually used products that I'm gonna talk about in my coming video, but you'll see that one first. Um, so yeah, if you like what you see, if you wanna know what I've done, how I've done it, what I've used, how I've used it, then keep on watching and I'll explain everything, what I've done, all that good stuff. So without any further ado, let's get started. I'm going to go in with my Too Faced concealer here. This one is kind of medium. I'm just going to conceal my eyes so I can start doing my eye makeup. You can sponge and just spread that product all over my eyelid. with my BYS translucent powder and I'm going to set my eyes. Today's look I'm going to use my Nude Tude palette here by The Balm. It looks like this. I have used it before in my other video. I do use this palette. It's quite nice. And for today's look I'm going to use the colors that this palette has. First I'm going to go in with this color right here. This one is called Sultry. This is going to be my transition color or base color. This is going in my crease. Go in with this color right here. This is a beautiful deep burgundy sort of color. It's called Sexy. I'm gonna take the same brush and this is going all over my lid and I'm gonna merge this with my crease as well. And I'm gonna take very little product. I don't wanna overdo it. Is I kept on building up the color to the intensity that I wanted so this is the darkest I like on my skin I'm gonna do the same thing so take off very soft hand and kind of spread the color and just keep on building the intensity with a clean fluffy eye brush and I'm just gonna take the clean brush and just blend out my crease with the burgundy color I've put in so there's no harsh line I'm doing my face and I'm gonna come back to my eyes after I finish my face and today I'm going to use my LA girl pro concealer in color um, orange or you can call it salmon peach whatever and just color correct my face where I think I need a little bit of correction and with my benefit um, highlighter here. This is called soft focus highlighting highlighter for your face and It looks like this. It's very very soft sort of champagne color really good for just Straight onto your face just gives you a beautiful highlight I'm just gonna use my finger and just spread that product and With my Marc Jacobs primer here. This is the coconut primer I'm just gonna take a little bit on the back of my hand I'm just gonna use my finger and just put it places where I'm oily uh, because summer's coming and it's nice to put a primer on your t-zone or your whole face if your whole face is quite oily or gets oily um, the reason I'm putting my primer on is because I want a matte finish and I feel like putting a primer on just really hydrates your skin and doesn't make your skin look dry, just met. I'm just concentrating where I'm likely to sweat or look dry. The T-zone, I just, my primer and just here where my skin tends to look dry. And for today's video, I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty foundation here. This one is in color 330. And I feel like this one has changed a little bit on my skin because my skin has gone a bit more tanned in summer. So it still looks good, but it just looks a bit more more yellowy, light sort of on my skin. Taking on a little bit on the back of my hand. I feel like Fenty works well with a brush because it is matte finish um, foundation. So I'm just gonna take it on a Kabuki foundation brush and just spread it. And for Fenty, I feel like if you are going to invest in it or you do have it, it works well when you have color corrected your skin because I feel like sometimes the discoloration or any imperfections do show through. So if you have a good color correcting underneath, then your foundation looks more flawless. I 
look of like a zombie because of the the burgundy and the orange and like my white face it just looks I'm tired or I'm dead um, so I'm gonna do my under eyes and now I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape here and this is in color medium sand and I'm gonna take very little and conceal my under eyes product into my skin. And again and put a second layer and this time I'm just gonna bring the product onto my cheekbones. And again spread the product. Any leftover product I'm just gonna put it in the middle of my forehead. Now I'm going to take my BYS translucent powder and basically set my under eyes. I'm going to use my sponge to do that. I'm not going to bake so I'm just going to press the product into my skin. And with a flat brush I'm going to take my translucent powder and carve my jaw as well. I'm going to take very little product. sponge and just press that powder into my skin just so it becomes one with my foundation. Go in with my Clarins bronzer here and I'm going to just bronze up my face. Go in with my Estee Lauder face and eye palette which I didn't know was an eye palette too and it looks like this. I'm going to take this really browny sort of color here and put blush on. I'm gonna go in with this light color here, which I almost jammed my brush in uh, as a highlighter. I'm gonna highlight my brow bone as well. I'm connecting my brow bone with my highlighter on my cheekbone. I'm gonna take very little and highlight my bridge of my nose as well. Now I'm going to go in with my Clarins eye pencil here. It's in color black and just line my lash line. The back of the liner which is a sponge and just smudge my eyeliner. And with the sponge I'm kind of tight lining my lashes as well so there's no gap between my lash line and eyeliner. And my palette again, I'm going to use this dark browny chocolate color here. It's called Sleek. I'm going to take a pencil brush and just basically put this on top of the eyeliner that I've put on. And be very careful. All you're doing is smudging it more and smoking it out. And, and take that burgundy color because I'm not happy with the intensity. So I'm just going to add a little bit more to intensify it to make it look more burgundy. curl my lashes. For my lashes I'm going to use my Essence Mascara here. Lashes are drying, I'm going to carry on drying my brows. And I'm going to just take a spoolie, brush off the extra product. Fill them in. For filling them in, I'm going to use my hourglass uh, pencil here, brow pencil, and just fill in my brows. Take my Chi Chi brow pomade. I'm just going to just darken my brows just to give myself like a fluffy sort of look. Go ahead and put my false lashes on. I'm going to take my mascara and basically merge my falsies with my uh, real lashes and just also kind of like put mascara on top of my falsies so they kind of get lifted and look almost real even though they're not. And it is time for my lips and for my lips I'm going to use my Pat McGrath lipstick here. This is the one I got 
a little while ago. It's called Flesh 3 and it's a beautiful brown sort of color. If you want to see the review on them and um, me testing them out, I will put the link down below. And to put this color on, I am going to use a lip brush. First, I'm going to line my lips with this, kind of like a lip liner before I go in. just fill in my lips with this color and intensify the lipstick. Alright guys, I have basically overlined my lips. I tried this look a few days ago and I tried to overline my lips without making it look like clown lips and I really liked it. I don't know if it's, um, it's the shape of it or what. I have actually fully put on lipstick, lipstick on my actual lips. So this is my lip shape. I actually quite liked it. I used to hate my lip shape when I was young and a few days ago I was like, oh, let me try filling in my lips and uh, kind of make them look fuller and they looked good. So yeah, this is <laughs> what I've tried. I can see a little bit of creasing around my nose because a Fenty Fenty does that to me. Um, I feel like sometimes it makes um, my creases look really, really intense. So I'm just going to take my BYS translucent powder and take my sponge and just set my line well, the last product on my face is my MAC Plus Gold Light Spray I'm just gonna spray this and set my makeup guys, this is the final look I am a little bit obsessed with this look because it looks so expensive and yet it is so quick and easy to do uh, I love it. Hope you guys enjoyed this too. Um, yeah, I quite like it. It's very, very cool. I love the lips. <laughs> Even though I've kind of like filled in my own lips that look really, really big and um, quite nice. Uh, they look quite fuller and quite nice with this look. If you guys enjoyed this video, maybe found it helpful, fun or entertaining, maybe learned something from it, share this video with someone who might actually appreciate this video too. Uh, like this video, comment down below just to say hello, share this video as well. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, I mean you're watching me, might as well subscribe. Um, so yeah, um, hope you guys have a beautiful day, until next time, be happy, be positive, I'll see you guys later, bye.